Welcome all. Today we will discuss about two important agile models, Scrum and Kanban, and their major differences. I am Rashmi, senior IT analyst. I am your coach for this session. So let us get started with a simple question: Which agile framework suits your project best? Scrum or Kanban? Is it possible to switch your project from Scrum to Kanban or vice versa? The answer to these questions is pretty straight. It depends on the maturity level of the team and the type of the project. Now let us understand what what does maturity of a development team mean. Let us first understand Scrum. We have a development project. Let us say the team has five to six members. Here the Scrum team functions within an organized structure. It has a Scrum master. Scrum master organizes different meetings and helps the team members if any hurdles are faced. Product owner, who is a liaison between the customer and the development team, he maintains the items to be worked upon. These items are called user stories. He sets the priority of the user stories. He grooms the team with respect to the product. Developers who develop the code, testers who test the developed code in different environments. This team is self-organized team. They worked on the different user stories, which are listed down in product backlog. The product backlog is maintained in the Scrum board. The user stories flow from backlog to development, to do doing and done swim lanes, and then to testing swim lanes of to do doing and done. The team picks up the user stories from the backlog. Another one. It moves to doing and then to done. Once user stories development is over, the testing team tests the user stories from to do list doing and then moves to the done test state. It moves to to do swim lane of testing, then it moves to doing, and then another one. It's being picked up from the to do list. Then it is done. Once the testers are free of their user stories, they can pick up from the developed user stories. The WIP, that is work in progress user stories, at any point of time depends upon the capacity of the team. The development is time boxed, that is, at the starting of the project, the delivery is decided at regular intervals of say two weeks or three weeks or four weeks. This time frame is called sprint. The sprint is here. Now the sprint backlog is taken from the product backlog superset. The sprint backlog is decided by the team, which items need to be worked upon for that particular sprint. Now there are few meeting routines which team has to follow in a Scrum. Sprint planning meeting, where the team decides which all user stories from the product backlog can be picked up for this sprint. It is based on the team's capacity. Daily stand-up meeting, where the team discusses about the previous day performed activities, next day planned activities, and what hurdles are, if any. Sprint review meeting. After the sprint is over, the demo of the developed user story is given to the client. So basically, the sprint review meeting is for showcasing of the working user story or the incremented product. Sprint retrospective. It focuses on identifying what went well and what went bad during the sprint. The team retrospect at anti and identifies how to perform better for the upcoming sprints. In case any change is required on the identified working item, it will be accommodated only after the sprint is over. The team calculates its work capacity in terms of velocity. That is, how much work has been completed in this sprint. The velocity is averaged out for past three sprints. The velocity shows how much is the capacity of the team for the sprint. To keep track of work done and work to be done, the Scrum Master plots charts like burn down and burnt up. 
Now that we are clear with Scrum framework, let us move to Kanban framework. The idea in Kanban is to manage the creation of product with emphasis on continuous delivery while not over bundling the development team. The idea is to focus on demand based supply and minimal waste and this delivers maximum value to the client. This can be achieved with a more mature team than a scrum team. We have a project team of few team members. This team consists of developers and testers. There is no structure to this team. There is an agile coach who assists the team as and when required. The product backlog looks similar to Scrum product backlog. The user stories are maintained in Kanban board. Kanban board looks like this and it is quite similar to Scrum board. The backlog, development, uh, to do, doing and done swim lanes and then testing, to do, doing, done swim lanes. The way the stories flow to the different swim lane is different in Kanban. Let us take the simple example. The developer checks the board and picks up the user story which needs to be worked upon. There is no time box development. It flows. It, it's a flowing development and continuous delivery. The team picks up the user stories, works on it and delivers it. The work in progress, that is work, WIP, items are limited and depends on the team's capacity. So if you see the to-do list of testing is full of the full to the team's capacity here. If the team takes more development stories, they will be blocked to the, uh, in the to-do testing lane. So in this case, some of the other team member come to rescue the team's outflow. This way they clear the bottleneck. Kanban is a agile model, though it is not necessarily iterated. The Kanban team doesn't bother on the, bother on the team meetings. They do plan for the prioritized user stories to be released. However, if the team realizes the need of such meetings. For any change during the development, the team accommodates the request. Since there is no time boxed delivery, the changes can happen anytime. The key metric is to calculate the cycle time and lead time for the user story. Lead time, which is also called customer lead time, means the total time from when ticket was created till the team is complete, the, till the ticket is completely and done. Whereas lead time signifies the total time taken from starting of the ticket till finishing the ticket. So if you see, even though both Scrum and Kanban follow agile methodology, there is a fundamental difference in how the team is organizing itself. This approach makes Kanban achieve a lot of benefits over uh, Scrum. In terms of better flexibility, planning the user stories, team structure, meetings, etc. are better here in Kanban. Shortened cycle time. Since the delivery is continuous, it shortens the cycle time. Efficient team. Kanban lets the team limit the WIP, that is work in progress items capacity. So that if at any point of time, a team member's member faces challenge, the other team member can jump into to help clear the bottleneck. Continuous delivery. There is no time boxed delivery like a sprint. The team picks up items from the backlog one by one. A case study. An existing project needs to adopt Agile. The project works on small enhancement and also support production environment where tickets are generated. The tickets generation is occasionally. The project manager wants to know which one is suitable, Scrum or Kanban. If the project can plan for deliveries at regular intervals, say two to three weeks, and stick to this commitment, then the team can go with Scrum, where the deliverables will be delivered at the end of every sprint. This gives the team a little breathing space before the next sprint starts. The, the team is much structured and organized in the Scrum. So the predictability of the team capacity is high. 
But if the project demands frequent release every week or it has to support ad hoc request, Kanban can be used. But having said, the team has to be self-organized. However, there is another hybrid framework which is called Scrum Ban, which takes the best of uh, both the models and can help the team achieve maximum value with minimal wastage. Let us summarize the difference ones. Delivery frequency. Scrum, it is time boxed in sprints. At the end of each sprint, the delivery happens. Whereas in Kanban, it is continuous delivery. Team structure. Scrum team is quite structured and roles and responsibilities are well-defined. Scrum team masters, uh, product owner and development team are there in Scrum team. Whereas in Kanban, it is the team and agile coach. Key metrics, Scrum. In Scrum, the velocity is calculated to check the capacity of the team for next sprint. Whereas in Kanban, it is cycle time and lead time are basically calculated. Scope, during the sprint planning meeting, the team plans for the scope of the scope for the sprint. In Kanban, it is a workful system. That is one by one, the user stories are picked up. No scope is defined. Response to change. During the middle of a sprint, no changes are allowed in a Scrum. In Kanban, the changes are accommodated anytime. Applicability. Scrum is applicable where the project needs to be worked upon prioritized user stories, and it needs to be worked in batches. In Kanban, it is applied where the flow of the delivery needs to be continuous and fast. This is applicable in operational environments, ad hoc requests, unplanned work or production support, where team works on tickets. We at Tech Canvas cover these topics comprehensively. These topics are discussed in all our business analysis certification courses like ECBA, CCBA, CBAP, Certified Agile Business Analyst, and Agile Analysis Certification. We hope this video was helped to you. Please feel free to contact us for any queries. Thank you so much.